worship God this morning, church. This old house I'm living in is needing repair. The windows and the shutters are letting in the cold, cold air. So I tell myself I'm going to fix them when I can get the time. But all I'm getting lately is leaving all my mind. Lately all I've got is leaving all my mind. It seems that's all I'm thinking about most of the time. I should start looking for a better place to live because I just can't seem to get excited about this world and what it can give I couldn't care less if I could buy it all with a solitary time About most of the time, soon and very soon, I'll leave my troubles all behind. Lately, I've got leaving, leaving all my mind. So, I guess. I should start looking for a better place to live because I just can't seem to get excited about this world and what it can give. I couldn't care less if I could buy it all with a solitary time. For what good will this this world world do me with leave alone my mind? Hallelujah. All I've got is leave alone my mind. It seems as all I'm thinking about most of the time. Come
commands us to do. We're not of this earth. We're of heaven. We're anointed of God. This church doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, he will defend his church. He will bless his church. Man can't stop it. Are you living worthy of life? Ephesians 4 and 1, I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you're called with all lowliness and meekness with long suffering forbearing one another in love endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace forbearing one another in love I love you I don't want to hurt you I don't preach to you because I'm trying to hurt you I preach to you because I want you to live. It ain't enough to start. You got to finish the race. You can't let people hinder you. You got somebody pulling you down. Get away from them. All they can do is run their mouth and talk about somebody. Get away from them. Don't mess with them. I have sent my word to help each and every one of you. I have called you to righteousness and purity. And I have given you life. You will never die as long as you walk worthy of that life. The devil cannot rob you of your salvation. Walk in my light. Live in my spirit. Love one another. Pray one for another. And be able to take my word and don't get angry because you're hit with my word. It's to keep life in you, saith the Lord. Amen. Raise your hands and praise him. Atlantic fishermen catch blue crabs and when they catch a crab, they put it in a bucket. And they put a lid on it. They catch another crab... They don't put the bucket, the lid over the bucket. They don't need it. Because when that first crab gets in, he'll try to crawl out. When the second one gets in, he won't let that crab crawl out. He pulls him back down. So they don't need a lid. Don't let people pull you down. Keep on going for God. Look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Look unto him that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think according to the power that works in you. And may I warn you this morning before we pray, there will be people that'll try to pull you down. Run like a turkey. Involve yourself with righteous and holy people. And they'll build you up in the faith. We need one another. I need you, Brother Brett. I need you. I need all of you. We need each other. We're a body. I cannot do without you. I'm not an island. I'm a servant of God. I'm not a servant of men. I'm a servant of God to serve men. He said, be you not the servants of men. I'm not serving you. I'm serving God to serve you. If God is not involved, it's not worth a dime. It's not worth anything. Everybody stand, please. Let me tell you something now. While you've heard this message, I've preached some strong stuff today. You don't change the message. The message changes you. Listen to my word. There's some here you're falling short. There's some here you're not pleasing me. You're not living the way I want you to live. I love you. You can have the victory. You don't have to be prayed to the devil. You're mine. I will hold you, saith the Lord. But always be reaching for my glory. Always be searching for my spirit. Always be searching for my love. For you're going to need it in these perplexing days. We need each other. You, I need you to take me and witness to my glory. And you need me to have that power. I need you as my church. I can do it without you, but my plan is to use you, saith the Lord. Be an example. Follow me all the way, for your redemption's drawing nearer. 
saith God. Raise up your hands and praise him. I want a prayer line this morning. Pull that altar back there. Now you can take this message and criticize it. Or you can take it and learn and be blessed from it. It's up to you. I've delivered my soul to the best of my ability. I've told you what God said. I didn't, I didn't write that book. God did. And we must honor God. We don't want to be an Adoniah. We don't want to be a Joab. We don't want to be an Abathar. We want to support God's program. We want to support the Word. We want to support the Holy Ghost. Our church has good altar services. I've been to some churches. They have good preaching and they have uh, uh, good people, but their altars are dead. They don't have altar services. It didn't do me a good a bit a bit of good to preach if I can't get you up here after I preach to help you. You need to come through this line. I feel God, brother Reed. Feel the anointing of God. I want you to line up and come through this altar right now. This the fires in this place. We got holy men. They're gonna lay hands on you. Some of you need it. You need it. You need it. You're good people. I'm not beating you over the head. I'm telling you what you gotta have. You gotta stay worthy of life. Worthy of life. You live holy. You live right. You do what God says. You honor the king. You fall in line with the with the ability of God and the, the way God arranged things. And you'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. Father, I've preached your word the best of my ability this morning. I've studied this word hard and I've preached it to the best of my ability. And I pray now you'll help me, God. You'll anoint this message as you have already. And bless this altar service and break the yoke of the devil and bind the powers of sin. In Jesus' name I pray. I want you to line up over here. God's going to touch somebody. I know you got to eat lunch, but you need to eat from God's table first. Some of you people are having problems and you need God to help you. He's going to help you. Patakatamaya. Woo! I said, God's going to help you. You're His and He cares for you. Everyone in this church, not a person in this church, I don't care where you're standing with God right now, God still loves you. He still has mercy on you. Come on now. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. When I was a sinner, Jesus lifted me. When I was a sinner, Jesus lifted me. When I was a sinner. Jesus lifted me, singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. Well, I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me, singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. When I was in trouble, Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so 
Jesus lifted me 